Maybe it's a little. Let me just oh, wrap yeah, it for you. So yes, please. <laughs> it's about getting. Okay. Yeah. You see. Here we go. Oh, true. Well, I wrapped it before. Hi, welcome to Sizzling Hot with Sarah Michelle. My name is Sarah Michelle, and this is our pilot episode. Welcome, I'm so glad that you're here today. Today, I have a special guest. This is Jathea Reeves. I've known him for 12 years, let's go, let's and go. I thought it would be a great idea for him to be the first guest on my show. Thank you so much, it's a privilege. Of course, privilege. of course. You wanna tell the guests a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, so uh, Jathea Reeves, known Sarah Michelle for a super long time, and I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan, so I love the Baltimore Ravens. They should have won the Super Bowl, but nothing about that. Um, Boston Celtics fan, love my Celtics. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, there what's up. Um, and sports, man, <laughs> growing up, played a lot of sports, played football, and one of my big memories there is a 28 to 14 comeback where I scored the game winning touchdown. But no nice big deal, story. could have made it in the NFL, but I decided to do something else. He chose to make chimichangas today, so if you want to follow along, the recipe is in the description down below. Absolutely. Let's get started. Let's go. All right, guys, in the interest of time, I already pre-cooked the chicken. Um, so, J. Theo wanted to talk about the NBA and the NFL, and I had to oblige of as my course. guest. So, as we cook the chicken, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Let's go. The NFL had an irregular season, just like every different. other was sports different. team. Yeah, e they had a really irregular season. And so, to me, I just, you know, how do you think they handled it? Because if I was Roger Goodell, which thank God I'm not. Um, <laughs> you have a lot of stress. Yeah. If I was Roger Goodell, I would have bubbled the NFL. Oh, man. Okay. Just for everyone's safety. Yeah. But what do you think? How do you think they did this season? You know, I think a bubble would have been very interesting. But I think the NFL did a really great job, mm -hmm. you know, with amidst whatever was going on with them. But, like... They did good. I think every Sunday that I watched, I was engaged. Mm -hmm. I loved the product. The brand was still high. It, it didn't feel like a big drop off. So I think that's a win. That's success yes. because people are still glued to their TVs every Sunday. Exactly. So I think the NFL did a good job. I think so too. Personally, like I said, I would have done things differently, but thank God I'm not the NFL commissioner. <laughs> do you think, okay, so do you think that any team in particular, maybe even some players, took advantage of the regular no. season? Yeah, I think the teams that had continuity, they took advantage because they were like teams like the Kansas City Chiefs, that they had the same squad, that they were doing um, what they what they usually do. They continued well. You know, this break wasn't bad because they had a system in place. Mm -hmm. And then teams with great coaching, mm -hmm. like the Dolphins, you know, that the pedigree of coaches is either rising or good. Yes. I think they yeah. they were also helped. The they Dolphins, took advantage. The Dolphins did better than the Giants this season, Ooh. and the Dolphins have a history of being what thirty two out of thirty two usually. <laughs> so good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are usually the trash of that division, but hey, they did a really nice. good job. They did a great job. Go Dolphins. Go, Go Fins. Dolphins. Go Fins. Um, but yeah, like I think they did a fantastic job. Yeah. And people like the Bills, man, man, the Bills Mafia. Good job, good job, Bills Mafia. Good job, guys. Yeah, and I mean, to me personally, I think the Bills not making it to the Super Bowl was a huge upset. Um, just seeing how amazing they played this yeah. entire season. They were, you know, on every single leaderboard, like just yeah. breaking records, like sky high stats. Yeah. Um, so to me personally, that was an upset for this season. I know as a Ravens fan, though, you might have some other opinions. Yo, I mean, the Ravens not making a Super Bowl. I'm surprised, always, every time. But the Bills <laughs> did a fantastic job. I think Josh Allen, every year, has just done a better job yeah. of being a great quarterback. And um, he, he just, he, he's great. And I think he's gonna continue getting better. I think the Bills, you guys are set. You guys are set with the quarterback of the future. Yeah. Um, I think teams like the Washington football team, what Ron Rivera did in Washington was a surprise to me mm -hmm. because the NFC East was not the greatest division this year, but they played hard, they made the playoffs, and they took the Bucks to the end. My, my guy Taylor, Tyler, Heineke, 
whatever you say, however you say your last name. He did a fantastic yeah, job in the playoffs. He like, definitely did. Woo! He he's definitely doing work. did. He's doing work. Okay, so now let's talk about the Super Bowl. This chicken is sizzling right now. We're about to Ooh, add some sauce like to sizzle. it to cook okay, it up too. for the chimichangas. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Patrick Mahomes. Woo! You know, he Mahomes. won the Super Bowl last year, oh, totally boy. dominated. Um, that was what, his third season in the NFL? Yeah. And he just yeah, yeah, yeah. took Kansas City to the top. Yep. Um, and he's back again this year. So what do you nice. think Patrick Mahomes is gonna have to do to beat Tom Brady? You know, I think he just, I don't think it's anything new or different. I yeah. think he just has to continue being dynamic. You gotta keep putting points on the board. You can't go through a bunch of scoring droughts when yes. you're going against a guy named Tom Brady. No, he will you gotta take keep of it. your foot on the gas pedal. And you gotta keep being dynamic. So he gotta keep being a playmaker, keep extending plays, keep doing what he does. And I think, awesome. yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. There you go, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. So I think that's what, what my homeboy needs to do is just keep him being him and amazing. I think so too. Personally, like, I don't know. Tom Brady's kind of a go. And I'm <sighs> considering the no. 2018 season Ooh. when Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady went up against each other in yeah, the conference. Yeah, the to, Yeah. You I take got it. You, I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they went up against each other, and Patrick Mahomes lost. Good, and that was a life changing game that could have taken Patrick Mahomes to the Super Bowl earlier yeah. than usual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, that being said, like, I. I personally think Tom Brady might get the best of him. Tom yeah. Brady's a seasoned, you know, quarterback. He yeah. knows how to command his team. Obviously, we saw him shift from the Patriots to the Buccaneers and absolutely yeah. just Yo, what he did this year. Yeah. I can you know, hands down, I think it definitely solidified him as the, the goat. GOAT. Um but yeah, I mean, look, I'm a Ravens fan, so I have certain feelings about uh, TB TB twelve. But here's the thing. He's gonna come prepared. He's gonna have his team ready, um, and he's he's a legend. You know, just what he he's is. done this he really year. Is. I think though that when I look back at that 2018 AFC Championship game, mm -hmm. as has happened to Tom Brady in the past, there's some uh, breaks. I'll call it that. He gets breaks because okay. the Chiefs had that game wrapped up, but I think it was Chris Jones jumped off sides, and they gave Tom Brady a second chance. And when yes. Tom Brady gets a second chance, he will take advantage of it, exactly. and he will not. He will not. He will not lose twice, Correct. except to the Giants. E -hoo, go Eli. That's a goal well, right there. Okay, so you think, okay, all of this being said, mm -hmm. who do you pick for the Super Bowl? Uh, I have to say I go Chiefs. Chiefs. I go Chiefs. I think the Chiefs, I think the Chiefs get it. Okay. I think Patrick Mahomes is that kind of talent that, you know, it's going to be a tough game. I don't think it's going to blow gonna out. I, don't, I think it's going to be close, but I think Patrick Mahomes and just the speed that they can score in and the dynamic player he is, okay. I think they get the advantage in this game. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I Buccaneers for me because Tom mm. Brady, I have massive respect for him. Oh, always. Oh. Absolutely respect phenomenal player. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put my money where I know. Yo. Uh, all right, guys. So our chicken is ready. Oh. I shredded it. I think I gave him a little taste test. He thinks it tastes. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Alrighty, so let me just get some chicken in here. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, watch. that's too much. Okay, okay. <laughs> here you go. Okay, let me try. Let me yeah, try and then the beans. And I. Is that good or more? Or? I think you should just put whatever your heart desires. Then let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> and then here you go. Thanks, thanks. Alright, and then some cheese. You cannot eat a chimichanga without cheese. Is that the case? It's just some cheese. And I'm going to teach you how to wrap it because Please. actually I worked at a burrito store when I was in high school for two weeks and I <laughs> <laughs> I was taught how to wrap burritos. The okay? wealth of experience. Okay, that you so gained. what we're going to do is this. We're going to just start like this. Okay, okay, okay. And what you're going to do is with your hands, your hands are clean, I hope. Yeah, you're cool. going to push everything up. And you're just gonna go like this, wrap it over. Okay, okay. And go like this. All right. And then like this. Okay. And then right here, yeah. you're gonna hold it together and fold it, keep folding. And then because we're gonna fry it, we're gonna need a little bit of the slurry. Make sure I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we just want a little bit of that slurry What there. do you call this slurry? It's just flour and, and water. Okay. Yeah, but it's just to kind of seal 
the chimichanga so that when we're okay, okay. frying it, it does not discombobulate. Gotcha. Ooh, that's a big word right there. Yeah. All right, now that we've wrapped these chimichangas, yes. let's wrap this whole thing up. Let's go. Uh, let's finish talking about the NBA. I know you wanted to talk about that. Let's talk about the team everyone's talking about the Brooklyn Nets. Yes, they yes, have Kyrie, yes. they have James Harden, and they have Kevin Durant, Ooh. and they're absolutely killing it. Yeah. So what do you think the Nets are gonna look like you know, this season? And maybe, do you think that they are the team to beat in the East? Yo, when they got James Harden, they really changed up the game. Um, they, they did a fantastic job of getting James and adding that uh, firepower. Yeah. So I think they are going to look good. I think they're definitely a contender. There's no doubt about it. They kind of are the team to beat in the East right now. Mm -hmm. However, the defense leaves much to be desired. So okay. that's a big thing. Like you can score 145, but if your opponent is also scoring 140, 145. There are some gaps in the defense. Correct. There's so, some gaps in the defense. Yeah, 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 we'll see. All right, but now the Nets are thinking about, you know, signing on. They are, actually. It's mm -hmm. kind of official. Mm -hmm. um, signing on Iman Schumpert. Yeah. Um, what do you think the team is going to look like now that they have a really strong bench player? Yeah, I think, you know, it's going to help out that second unit. It's going to mm -hmm. help out the defensive presence because, you know, Iman Schumpert, he's, he's a defensive force. So I think they they got that to kind of bolster mm -hmm. up that depth. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens when, you know, the rotation gets going. Okay. All right. And Steven Nash or Steve Nash or, you know, Steven, Steve, whatever. Yeah, the guy. Uh, the dude. Um, what do you think, you know, do you think he's going to make any major changes to the lineup? Maybe Iman, you know, maybe he might end up being in Yo, the starting I think Steve, lineup. Steve Nash right now is probably tinkering with the lineup okay. and he's going to keep keep going until they find something because it's still early in the season like mm -hmm. you're saying they're still trying things out because really that's what i think for a great team that the regular season is you try different things when the playoffs come you kind of know what your different lineups look like yeah. so i think that's what he's going to be doing during the year all right all right okay and so now the celtics i know you're a celtics hey, fan. My uh, you're a celtics yeah, fan yes. do you think that they have what it takes you know to be fierce competitors like they have been in the past yo you know the nets make it hard it's kind of hard i mean we haven't gotten over <laughs> the heat loss but i think i'm always a believer yeah. i think the celtics we need one more trade, one more asset. I'm like praying that my boy Danny Ainge do something during the year. But I think we can be a contender. I think we can with our defense, okay. uh, with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown going forward. I think there's a shot. We may not get to the finals this year, but come on. Next three, five, we got something, it. Something, something, you know, something to look forward something to. Brewing. Now, I actually want to interject and I want to get your take. Your very sizzling hot take. Yeah. So the New York Knicks have actually been named the number one defense Ooh, in the league, okay. which is a little controversial considering <laughs> it's the New York Knicks. Yo. Um, I thought this was gonna be our season. We started off really strong, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Yo, you and Stephen A. are probably pretty excited about I the way that the Knicks are doing. So Stephen A. Smith, shout out to you. Shout out. Um, but yeah, I think the Knicks are are surprised. I'm surprised. I think they, but I think they're trying to really make New York an attractive place for free agents to come. So mm -hmm. winning, Tom Thibodeau doing a better job with coaching the second time around. I think really they're playing this year to advertise, hey guys, you can win here. We've got a culture that can get it done. Yeah. So this is good for them to show that we got some pieces that you want to be a part of. Okay. So. Okay. Chimichangas are almost done. They only need a few more minutes. Okay, okay. Um, I want to talk about the Rockets because they're actually Ooh. shaping out to be pretty good this season considering that they lost, you know, two Chase. star play, three yeah. actually with Russ. So they lost yeah. Chris Paul, then they lost Russ, and then they lost James Harden. Harden and yeah. now, like, there's not really a banner player at the Rockets, yeah, but they're still yeah. doing great. What, what do you think about that? What does that have to, you know, their talent and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, I think... Really, it helps now that they have people that are focused on being there. I mm -hmm. think John Wall is getting his second shot again. Mm -hmm. And it's really good to see him kind get of ready. get ready and be out there. And yeah. so I think they too are a team that, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be a, not a top three seed like they may have been with James, but they're going to be good. They're going to be a lower to middle seed in the playoffs. And okay, so then, you think they're gonna make it to the playoffs? I think they can, I think they can. I think they cobble this team together. They have the pieces to say, hey, we can make it. We can make it in we the West. We can make it. Okay, so we're gonna eat these chimichangas, Ooh. but I do have this? one more 
I have one more take that I would like to pass by you. Okay. So I think personally yeah. that this, again, we're not going to have a regular season. Yeah. So do you think that, you know, what teams do you think are going to make it? Do you think the Sacramento Kings might have a chance? Ooh. Maybe the Phoenix Suns? Things like that that you'd never really expect. Where is the hole for this? Yo. Do you think that we might have that I situation think we may. This year? I think we may. You know, being the NBA is looking different and, you know, it's not, like you said, it's not a regular season. Yeah. I think there may be some teams that do a little better, like the Pacers. Okay. You know, they, even though they got rid of Ola Deep, oh, I still think they can be a, a good team. Um, the Cavs are making a surprising. Cavaliers. Yeah, the Cavs are doing surprisingly well. So, yeah, I do think we see some new teams. I think the Phoenix Suns do kind of raise in level of play because Devin Book and Chris Paul, that's a low-key good mix. So. All right, so sour cream doesn't look very attractive, but I'm positive this is going to be super good. I'm ready. So I want to get your thoughts on this. Okay, okay. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. All right. All right. Works up. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. 10 out of 10 would recommend. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go back. Let's Nothing go. beats a fried tortilla, let me tell you. Bam, you're right about that. Look at this cross section, guys. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go demolish these off camera. They're absolutely delicious. Um, Thank you again, JPO, oh, for joining for sure. me today. Thank just you. riffing with me on my pilot episode. Mm -hmm. um, to you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the show. I hope to see you next time. Uh, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and share me all over the place. My name is Sarah Michelle. This is Sizzling Hot with Sarah Michelle, and I'll see you next time. Hi, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. If you wanna follow me on social media, check out the links in the description down below. Once again, my name is Sarah Michelle. This is Sizzling Hot with Sarah Michelle, and I'll see you next time.